Hi everyone, in this video I'll be giving you the evaluation results of my LS engine and what we need to do to it. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel about building a kit car and other car topics. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the notification buttons below and share with others on social media. A few videos ago you saw the complete teardown of my LS engine. After I got it down to just the pistons and cranks still in it, it was time to call the neighbor over and take a look. He drag races cars and has rebuilt engines before, and when he took a look at it, he basically said it did not look really bad. I personally noticed a lot of carbon buildup on the top of the pistons, kind of reminding me of drippings in an oven all kind of caked on and burnt. But besides that, there was not much scarring in the cylinders or anything jumping out at me. And if you remember when I picked out the engine, it had the highest compression reading and oil pressure readings. The only thing that was bad when I tore it apart was one lifter and the push rods were a little tweaked and one of the bearings was a little worn and it made sense since that's where the bad lifter was. But I don't claim to know anything by just looking at the engine and I felt since it was my first time, I wanted to go through the process of taking it down to the machine shop and get a real evaluation. I took all the pistons and crank out of the engine to not only lower the weight, but also the cost of them, you know, on assembling things. And even after I got the block down to about 200 pounds, it was still a bitch to move this thing. I used my van instead of a trailer since the engine was a lot smaller, but the roof height of the van was an issue with getting the block all the way in because of the chain length. But I did get it all loaded up and I got the parts dropped off to them. Now, as I've mentioned many times in the past, I like to do things right, but I'm also under budget. And in fact, it's an extreme budget. So when I went to the shop, I was like, this is an extreme budget build. If there's anything we could reuse or not do, I'm happy to do so. And before I went to that shop, I actually went to a few shops and kind of shopped around and tried to see what people were doing. And one of these shops tried to tell me that I needed to spend $4,000 to do a mild build. And when in reality, it could have been as simple as $300 to get some machine work done. So really be aware of who you're going to and who you're talking to, because I didn't appreciate that. Now with the shop that I finally picked, I gave them a list of things and options I wanted to explore, like boring out the cylinders bigger, installing a hot cam, and uh, you know, let's see what we got and figure out what we could do on a limited budget. I think of it like going to a regular mechanic shop to have something repaired. They will just repair what is needed and give you a $1,200 bill to fix the engine. They don't tell you you need to polish your crankshaft when you need valve cover gaskets. So after the shop had my block for a few weeks, they got back to me with some good news and options and also what did they do to it. First thing they did was jet clean all the parts and this cost about $100. And I had a full valve job done to both heads and it was around $225. Now, this was something that I didn't want to personally tackle since it needed all special tooling and such. And they also had to put the new springs in to match the hot cam that I was putting in. Then they actually milled the heads and that was $60 there. So the best news and the great news was is my engine was rebuilt in the past. Uh, I'm not sure how long ago. And it was actually 30 over in size with decent aftermarket oversized pistons. And so they were 100% reusable. So all we did was a home for around $60. And then I had them install a cam bearing since you need special tools, and that was $70. And then they checked and honed out the rods and made sure they were perfect, and that was around $100. So while I was talking to the shop, which are the engine experts, um, I was asking them about, you know, what engine kit I should buy from Summit Racing and such to put all my gaskets and everything back together. And they were like, well, we could sell you a full kit that's appropriately correct for your generation of engine and everything, and we'll tell you everything to get, and you could get it from us for a great price. And so that kind of took the stress off of me of trying to order online and talk to someone and try to figure out what's going on. It's like, this is what these guys do all day long. Just give me the kit that you think is appropriate for what I'm doing and done. So that was a total no brainer. 
So I bought from them an engine kit with no pistons for about $525 and new roller lifters for about $135. Hot cam, which was a great deal for $299. Uh, head bolts for about $77, valve springs for $75, some type of engine plug something for five bucks, and uh, some ARP rod bolts. Uh, since I knew I was going to be bolting on some power, I wanted to make sure it was a safe way to go, and that was $100. And then I was going to get factory push rods, but they suggested against it, and I got some good ones for about $115. And kind of makes sense, because all mine were failed, so I was kind of, I didn't want to spend that budget, but you know, it kind of made sense since everything was kind of busted up when I tore the engine apart. So out the door, it was about $1,915, and they also cleaned up my pistons for me and removed the carbon, and that was way better than the $4,000 build that I was quoted originally, and I did buy a lot of parts and a lot of quality parts. Now, this is way more expensive than a extreme budget build where you're just gonna freshen it up and do about $300 worth of service and then just put a kit on it. But as time goes on and I keep thinking about what I'm gonna to do to this thing, it is ready now for up to maybe 500, 550 horsepower. And so, not that I wanna go that high, but I'd rather overbuild a little bit than be in trouble later. Well, that's it for today. Till next time, please hit the subscribe and notification buttons and have a great day.